A-level chemistry quick test video on acids and bases. So we'll start with some equations. So we'll write equations and state the reaction type for the following reactions of acids. So if you want to have a go at those, pause the video and then play on when you're ready for the answers. Okay, so the first one is an acid and metal oxide. So we're going to get salt and water produced. So there's the equation and it's a neutralization reaction. Second one is acid and metal hydroxide, so that's an alkali, so it's salt and water again. So there's the equation, and it again, neutralization. Third one, acid and metal carbonate now. So we're going to get salt, water, and carbon dioxide this time. So there's the equation, again, neutralization. And finally, we've got an acid with a metal. So we're going to get salt and hydrogen now. So there's the equation, and this is a redox reaction. Okay, so for the second test, I've gone for a hydrated salt calculation. So if you want to have a go at that, pause the video and then play on when you're ready for the answers. Okay, so the way we're going to tackle this is like an empirical formula type calculation. So we've got um, two columns, one for the anhydrous part, the FeSO4, and the other column for the water. And we're going to find the ratio of anhydrous salt to water. So put the masses in first. We know from the information 3.80 grams of anhydrous salt was produced after heating to constant mass. So the difference between the starting mass and that 3.80 is the how much water's come off. So that came out at 3.15. Divide by the MRs, so that's them in there and we get the moles coming out at that many there. Divide by the smallest, which is the moles of FeSO4, and we get a one to seven ratio. So therefore, the formula showing the water of crystallization is FeSO4.7H2O. 